Hello all. So we are moving to the first problem of perspective projection. Hmm? The problem is a square lamina 30 mm side rest on the ground 10 mm behind the picture plane. The station point is 40 mm above the ground plane, 30 mm in front of the picture plane and lies in a center plane 20 mm to the right of the center of the square. Draw the perspective view of the square by visual ray method. This is the problem. So the problem is a square lamina of 20 mm side rest on the ground. That is the first step. So I have already told that we are usually following third angle projection in perspective projection, right? So when you are observing from the front view, you can see that this ground as a line. Suppose this is the ground plane in the front view you can see this ground plane as a line okay that means a ground line at the same time in the front view you can see the picture plane as a plane so the projection will be seen in the front view and we know that in perspective projection we are following third angle projection so the front view will be on the bottom side in the top view what will happen in the top view this is the ground plane so in the top view you can see the ground in the ground can be seen and the picture plane this is the picture plane and in the top view the picture plane can be only seen as a line because we are observing from here so when you are observing from here the picture plane can be seen only as a line okay so in the top view picture plane can be seen as a line and in the ground can be seen and in the front view ground can be seen as a line so it is called a ground line and the picture plane can be seen as the entire plane so in the front view you will get the perspective projection because the projection can be seen on the picture plane itself okay so in this question a square lamina is placed on the ground of 30 mm side is placed on the ground so when a square lamina is placed on the ground in which view you can see its base base means the square in the top view you can see the base right so in the top view you can see the base and in the top view you can see the picture plane as a line okay so we can start with this line that means uh, the line of the picture plane so in the top view you can see the picture plane as a line so we can draw a line and name it as picture plane so we are drawing the top view and it is given that uh, the square is placed on the ground and it is 10 mm behind the picture plane see this is the picture plane this is 10 mm behind the picture plane so in the top view you can see the square 10 mm behind the picture plane means the uh, square will be behind the line in the top view okay so this is a picture plane line so the square can be seen as a square like this and this distance will be 10 so this is the top view so we can name it as a b c and d we can also obtain its a center o. i think all of you have understood this because the square is placed 10 mm behind the picture plane it is given there so it is placed above the line okay so this is a picture plane this is a square so this gap should be seen in the front view and it is given that it is 10 in front means it will be here behind means it will be here so it is since it is behind this will be 10 okay so the front view can, has been complete now this is the ground and this is the picture plane so this is the top view sorry the top view has been constructed then now we have to draw the front view so we know that uh, in the front view we can see the ground as a line and the uh, entire picture plane can be seen so suppose draw a line somewhere here name it as a ground line because in the front view you can see the ground as a line so this is a ground line now the front view of the square has to be drawn you can see that you can observe that if this is a square in the front view you can see it as a line only, right so two points will be here and two points will be here so this is the projection of the square in the front view since it is placed on the ground so this is a dash b dash 
and this is c dash v dash this will be o dash that also has been completed. Now it is given that now we have to fix the station point. What is station point? Station point means I of the observer. For locating the station point, first we have to draw the central plane. It is given in the question that the central plane is at a distance of 20 mm from the center of the square towards right. So this is the center of the square, this is 20 mm towards right. So from the center, draw a line 20 mm towards right. So that that line will be the central plane CP and this distance will be 20. That also completed. Okay, that also has been completed. Now we have to locate central plane, sorry, station point. So for that read the question because it is, it is given that a station point is 40 mm above the ground line and 30 mm in front of the picture plane. Okay. We know that a station point will always lie in the central plane. Station point will be always lie in the central plane because this is a station point and this is a central plane. So at a distance of 40 mm above the ground plane. So suppose if this is 40 mm, this will be above the ground line. So that will be SP dash and 30 mm in front of the picture plane. So this will be SP. So this is 30 this is 40. From this we get one more point because see it is given that a station point is 30 mm in front of and 40 mm above. So the total is 40 plus 30 70. So always keep in mind that a, the di distance between this picture plane and the ground line. Initially I just draw a ground line without any uh, dimensions or without any distance from picture plane. Uh, it should be drawn by considering the distance of a station point in front of and above, above the ground line and in front of the picture plane because this is 40 and this is 30. So, the total is 70. So, the difference or the distance between the ground line and the picture plane should be always greater than the sum of these two points. Otherwise, it will overlap each other. Okay. For avoiding that, eh, always draw the picture plane and the ground line line at a distance eh, which is greater than the sum of the distance of a station point above the ground line and in front of the uh, picture plane. So here it is 40 plus 30 that is 70. So keep that keep this distance greater than 70. So that you can take or 80 or 90 like that. So that these two points will not overlap. Now the remaining portion is very simple. See connect the SP with the A D. B, C and O. So that uh, this line will pierce the picture plane at these points, mark those points as D. So this is D1, C. So this is C1, O. So this is O1, A. So this is A1 and B. So this is B. Okay, it is very easy. Connect SP with uh, all the points in the top view. Now, connect SP dash with uh, these things. Okay, connect SP dash with uh, C dash, D dash, O dash, A dash, and V dash. So, we have uh, connected SP with uh, all the top view and SP dash with uh, all the front view. Now, draw a vertical line from D1 to meet SP dash D dash and name it as capital D. Now, draw another vertical line from C1, name it as capital C to meet SP dash C dash. Now, from A1 to SP dash A dash and obtain capital A and from B1 draw a perpendicular to obtain capital B. Similarly, we 
we can obtain the center point too and you connect all this point point so that we will get a AB, BC, CD and D. So, this is the perspective projection of the given question. So, physically the meaning is if we are placing a square plate of 30 mm on the ground behind a picture plane and an observer having a height of the eye of the observer at a height of 40 mm above the ground and 30 in front of the picture plane. So, if this is the square and if this is the picture plane, picture plane means the screen of a camera and if we are an observer having height of 40 and this distance is 30 can see this square as like this. This is the physical meaning of this perspective projection, right? Okay, I hope you understood. So, the method is first to draw the picture plane over ground line, measure the height of uh, SP dash and SP and uh, here it is 70. So, at a, a distance of 80 or at a distance of more than 70, draw picture plane or ground line. So, complete this. Now, first draw the top view. In the top view, you can see the square. So, first draw the top view at a distance of 10 mm behind the picture plane. Name it as ABCD. Project its front view and name it as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Locate SP and SP dash. Connect SP with the ABCD. Connect SP dash with the A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. This SP, ABCD pierces the picture plane at some points. Name it as A1, B1, C1, D1. Draw a per perpendicular line that will intersect the connection of SP dash, A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash at some points. Name it as corresponding points as ABCD and connect this so that you will get the corresponding perspective projection. I hope all of you have understood.